what is up what is up beautiful sons and daughters of the most high yeah way man <sighs> to those who ain't got that far <laughs> all right um i want to share with you all an experience that i had with the lord last night that was like no other none other before um so please please stay tuned and listen i think this is something that every single person should hear um I just ask that the Lord really speaks to me. <laughs> For real. So I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you. Man, I, I really thank you for this day, Lord. Like so much. This time on earth that is not promised. It's time yet again to repent and to seek first the kingdom of heaven. It's time again to, shred, uh, to spread the good news. To share the gospel, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I wake up this morning with repentance, just like, hey, Lord, just thank you. Thank you for sparing me and everybody who watches this video. And we give you glory on today for how good you are. Because God is good, man. He is. Lord, I ask that you speak through me right now. Use my words, Lord God. Put the, put your words on my lips, rather. Yes, Lord. Let it be absolutely none of me and all of you, Father. Hallelujah. Please put some seriousness on this video, Lord God. Some realness on this video, Lord God. Let all who hear feel what you desire them to feel in this time. May they understand how serious this is. Right? I surrender, Lord. It is, man, my, my tongue, my mouth, my heart, everything, Jesus. Use this however you desire. And may it reach all whom it needs to. Somebody needs this video, and I'm trusting God for that. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So let me show y'all what the Lord put me through last night. Probably just for you or somebody you know. Man, I'm asleep, right? I'm asleep. I live in Missouri. I don't know why he's asking me to share that detail, but I do. I live in Missouri, and uh, it rained last night for the first time in a minute. Probably since the first. It rained for the first time since it snowed. Uh, going on a month ago and uh, it was a good rain boy we needed it, a good rain and so I'm outside asleep and when I say outside I don't I'm, I'm covered y'all I don't mean like literally outside but I'm sleeping I got the door open it's beautiful right nighttime it's raining so I know that that made everything louder but man when I tell you a thunder came through like never before when I tell you that the heavens were shaking Bro, I, I I cannot over or under exaggerate this. It was the loudest thunder I have ever heard in my life. And I grew up in Texas, Northeast Texas specifically. If you know anything about Texas, our thunderstorms do not be playing at all. Our thunderstorms, you know, used to scare me as a kid. <laughs> I'm telling you. And so this thunder comes through, man, and it wakes me up. And I instantly knew that Jesus was here. I instantly knew that it was time. I instantly knew that everything you hear these people preaching about and teaching about and saying, Jesus is coming. I knew it was that day. I'm telling you, yo. I popped up to hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're here. I was so excited. But that excitement lasted so short. I was so turned up, boy, and I hopped up, and then I instantly dropped to my knees, and I started to crawl towards the door. And with every step, every every crawl, every movement that I did, bro, I just began to cry. I began to cry because I began to see every person that was not saved. I began to see every unbeliever. I began to see every lukewarm Christian. I began to see my family. I began to see my the people that I love perish i was like lord please do not come back right now jesus like like i want to see you i want the day of your glory i, I want to be in your presence in a different way in a new way lord but please i love them and they are not saved they are not where you want them to be lord god i love these people and they look warm i begin to see my neighbors Muslims and, and all these other different people and different religion people just playing around not not walking in the truth and my heart started to break bro when I tell you I was on my hands and knees about in the rain crying out to God crying out to Jesus begging him for mercy on your behalf the 
Lord is not playing with us, man. I'm trying to tell somebody this was the realest experience that I have ever had with the Lord. I really thought that he was here. And then if you could have seen the glow that was on the sky last night, the light that was, it was nighttime, right? And it's not like 5 p.m. or so. It's like 2 a.m. It's night night. And it was a glow over the sky. So co just combine that, bro. Hearing this loud noise. I was like, are them the trumpets, bro? Like, I'm not joking. I woke up and I was hyped. And then I instantly, I want to say names, bro. I want to say names. I want to say names. Y'all pray for my family. Can y'all do that? If you watch this video, please pray for my family that they will wake up and they will step into truth. That they will really step into the presence of God and die to their flesh. Right? Pray for all these people who don't realize that believing in Jesus means believing that we are saved from sin now. Not believing that he died so we could be saved to sin and live our truth how we want to. Y'all pray for my family. I'm going to pray for y'all, family. I'm going to keep praying for all these lost people, y'all. I say, excuse me, I say this last thing. Before I went to sleep last night, in my prayers, I prayed and said, Lord, give me a more sovereign fear of you. I, I, I want to fear you the way you desire I fear you, right? And it's not just shaking your boots and, you know, be on eggshells, but it's to understand who God really is. That's what a fear of him is. To realize what he can truly do and all of that happened he sent a thunderstorm this way loud enough for me to believe it was the day of the Lord loud enough to believe that he was literally on the on on, on, the, on the clouds with his horsemen coming back and it has nothing to do with me but I gotta let somebody know that the very next thing he put on my heart was to plead for your soul. To plead and beg mercy for your soul. That you would not perish because you won't just die to your flesh and step into what God wants you to be. Who God called you to be. Because you won't take him seriously. I pled for mercy on your behalf. And only the Holy Spirit could even give me those desires because I would be selfish and not care if it was just me. So, I pray I feel the weight of this, man. It's, it's not a joke. It's not a game. I saw so many people. People I've been knowing my whole life. People I love. People that pray in the name of Jesus. Gone. Perish. Did not make it. Have a conversation with the Lord today, man. Remember, it's about a relationship. It ain't got nothing to do with religion. And you do have to seek the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul. Dear Heavenly Father, I surrender this unto you. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Yeshua, Mashiach's mighty name, I do pray. Love you. Be blessed. Shalom, family.